guys, it's Lanvin with A1 Comics with another episode of Now You Know Comics. Today we're going to talk about the Marvel value stamp. Now, this was featured in a lot of books and it'd be kind of like a treasure hunt. You, uh, you get the Marvel value stamp holder, it's like a little booklet. You open it up and you see the pictures of all the different stamps that are going to be featured in all the different Marvel books. I think over the course, um, well, it was one month, it was March of 1974. So the biggest one is going to be your Hulk 181 features a Marvel value stamp. So what happens when the stamp is cut out of it? Typically a book will still be graded the same way, except it'll get a green label, which is qualified if you send it to CGC, if it's missing the Marvel value stamp, and that will typically cut the price in about half. They're typically harder to sell, um, but that being said, if you're looking for a placeholder, or you just can't afford a really high grade Hulk 181, a qualified Hulk 181 that's missing the Marvel value stamp may be a great way to go because the book will still present very well. Obviously you can't open it in the CGC case um, and you'll technically have it. So there are other books, uh, of course there's about 40 or 50 other books that have uh, a stamp and you just kind of need to know the list of them. Uh, it's easy to find online if you just a, a quick go Google search. Uh, but if you're ever buying collections that have these books, you do have to check on the inside to make sure they have the stamp. Uh, I've had the privilege of looking at a, a, booklet, a booklet that was complete. It had every single stamp inside of it. Uh, the only sad thing is, is that means that for every stamp inside there, there's a comic out there that's missing its stamp and is uh, not technically complete. But it is a bit of a unicorn. I've only ever seen one. Uh, and it is, it, it is pretty cool to see. Uh, hopefully we'll get an image of the Marvel stamp holder. You can check that out and we'll provide a couple links um, for more information and resources, uh, like the whole list and everything like that. So thank you so much for joining me. Now you know a little bit more about comics.